Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kaz and today we're going to be learning how to set up and run a Wi-Fi modem on a Commodore 64 and then we're going to log into a BBS. So first thing you want to do is load up the terminal program of your choice. I'm using uh, Jiffy DOS with an SD2 IEC. So I'm going to hit load file browser FB comma 8 comma 1 and then I'm going to run it. I'm going to use CCGMS 2019. You can use 2017. You can use Ultimate. You can use any terminal program you want. The settings should be roughly the same. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that it's set up for the setup, the initial setup settings. Okay, so we're going to hit F7. We're going to make sure the modem is set on user port 300, and the baud rate is 300. Once we do that, we hit enter, and then we're going to hit enter again, and it should show that the modem is attached. Now we're going to hit F8. We're going to get into ANSCII terminal mode and we're going to type in AT dollar sign SSID oops equals we use kids internet and then we're going to hit AT password pass equals and the password for this, in case you're in my neighborhood, is kids stink. Once that's done, we're going to hit F8 again, bring it back to graphics terminal mode, and we're going to hit ATC1. It may take more than one try to get logged in. There you go, we've attained our IP address. Now, we're going to hit AT and symbol and it's P0 and we hit AT and K1 when we change the baud rate this is going to prevent the uh, modem from locking up and now we're going to hit AT dollar sign SB equals 9600 all right now we're going to hit F7 again and we are going to change the modem type to UP9600 and we're going to change the baud rate to 9600 hit enter again after you get it set up for 9600 baud and you want to save all your settings, you want to type in AT and W and then hit enter. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to save this data. This is a customer's uh, modem. I'm just testing it to make sure it sets up and operates properly, which it does. And we're going to uh, log into my BBS. ATDT Skynet BBS dot DYNU dot net sixty four hundred. All right, it's connected. And hit return. Yes, always yes for graphic terminal mode when dialing into a Commodore. 64 computer. It's going to load the welcome screen. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up a new membership. Type in new. Oops, just new. Type in my name. We'll use Pat. We're going. Oops, can't spell.
It's going to take a minute to check the files to see if I'm already a member. Type in a new password. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you are. You're logged in. Let's see. We'll put my real name. Kaz. My address is one, two, three. Big city. Zip code is five 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 four. Sorry. <laughs> Telephone number is five 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 five. My computer, of course, a C sixty. I could type, and that is correct. And then now you're in. You have limited access until I approve your membership. But if you get question mark, it brings you up to the things that you can do on the BBS. Read messages, leave messages, upload programs, download programs. It's a lot you can do. It's a lot of fun. And to log out, you would hit zero. Excuse me. Oh. Oops. And there you go.